this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Yeah, I'm back. Well, listen. <clears throat> it looks like somebody's going through some serious stuff. Anytime God starts leading to Scripture, I hope you guys listen to these words because I know a lot of us get lazy about reading God's Word. Reading, period. And sometimes... It doesn't get in us unless somebody else reads it to us. And God's words are life. They're life-giving. So I'm going to read Psalm 71. It's a shorter chapter. But it's, it's, it's not only dealing with what the person's going through, but what, what God is in the process. So I hope this encourages you because God is, is saying some pretty nice things pretty encouraging. He's given pretty encouraging promises. Let me just read. <clears throat> and if there's a Pat's two cents, fine. If not, at least you get what God has to say. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Mm -hmm. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given me commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Lord God, thou art my trust from my youth. By thee have I been holding up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. I am as a, a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age, for... Forsake me not when my strength faileth, for mine enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him, persecute and take him, hmm. for there is none to deliver him. O oh God, be not far from me, O oh my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day. For I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. O oh God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also, when I am old and gray-headed, O oh God, forsake me not until I have showed thy strength unto this generation and thy power to everyone that is to come. Thy righteousness also, O oh God, is very high. Who hath done great things, O oh God, who is like unto thee? Thou which has shown me great and sore troubles, shall quicken me again and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will also praise thee with the psaltery, even thy truth, O my God. Unto thee will I sing with the harp, O thou holy one of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee, and my soul which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought unto shame that seek my hurt. Mm. Wow. I hope you are blessed by that word, Pat's Two Cents. I really hope that encourages you because he is letting his enemies, he's even reminding himself, my God is for me. 
I'm not in this mess alone. I don't have to be afraid and intimidated by the devil. I don't have to be worried about those that rise up against me. Because if God be for me, who can be against me? You remember that. And you hold your head up high. Even though the tears may run down your cheeks, you hold your head up high and hope thou in God.